All right, so I'm at the lot today. Um, it is Monday, May 17th, I believe, and I'm making a little video about the well. Um, now, I remembered from when I put the uh, pump in that the static water level was at about 60 feet. Um, the paper the well company supplied said it was at 270 feet, but when I plopped the pump in, I could, you know, I could tell that it was way higher than that. Um, I imagine that when they measured it, that was just the initial measure, but it's uh, the static water levels raised since then. I'm not a well expert, so you know if you want to have that checked out, uh, please feel free. But I have a very nice, easy, low tech way of checking it out, <laughs> which is basically going with this tape. I don't know if you can hear the splooshing, but basically it starts to splash at about 62 feet. And then if you're not sure about, you know, am I actually hearing the splash? I actually brought the tape up, and there was, you know, there was water on the end of it. So that leaves us a water column uh, of about 350 feet total. <clears throat> so we have the static water level at 60. The pump is 10 feet from the bottom. The well is about 420 tw uh, 20 feet deep. You do basic math, it gives you a 350-foot uh, water column by uh, 1.7 gal. That's the gallons per foot for the diameter of this hole. So each foot of this water column can hold 1.47 gallons. So total gallon reservoir is 514 gallons. That's how much water this column can hold. That's why when I set it up, I um I didn't think I was going to need a uh, a reservoir, you know, like a backup. Uh, however, if you know if you want to get a reservoir, I don't think it's a bad idea. But um, I don't think it's going to be necessary considering um, you know the the height of the water column. You know, half a gallon per minute on its own doesn't seem like a lot. But that data point shouldn't be looked at in a vacuum. There's a lot of other points to consider, you know, mainly the, the height of the water column. So that's it.